Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. So in today's video, EA dropped us Gerson as an SBC league earn. Left winger, obviously a centre mid by default. Shapeshifters, we are coming to the end of that promo now. This card is going to cost you an 86 rated squad and an 83 rated squad. Interesting position change. Card looks very nice on the base card stats. As we move in to the card itself, 96 pace with 95 dribbling, 91 shooting, 83 defending, 89 passing and 85 physical. So he can literally play anywhere. High medium work rate, 6 foot, right footed with 5 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. In terms of his traits, he has absolutely none, which is quite disappointing. But as we get into the attributes, we can see here that this card looks really nice. 96 acceleration and sprint speed, with 95 attack positioning, 90 finishing and shot power and long shots, with 91 volleys and 97 penalties. Passing looks relatively good as well with 89 vision, 95 short pass and 90 long pass. Curve is really good at 95. Dribbling is where this card looks really, really nice though. With the 95 agility and 96 balance, 96 reactions, 96 ball control, 95 dribbling and 96 composure. He's also very well versed in the defensive categories as well. Interceptions is a little bit low and head and accuracy. But defensive awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle are really nice at 86, 89 and 83 respectively. Jumping it is a bit low. 95 stamina is good. 81 strength and 86 aggression is also really nice. Now, with a card like this, he can literally play in any position you want, you know. So, kind of depends on the way you want to play him. But due to the fact he's got 5 star skills, I'm going to be playing him in an attacking role. I think he is best suited as either a cam or a right mid left mid in a 3-5-2 or a striker. We're going to play him at striker and I already know the chemistry style that I'm going to put on him. I think the best one in an attacking sense is a hawk. Now the reason I say a hawk is you get that big boost to the pace taking up to 99 acceleration and sprint speed. 99 attack positioning, 95 finishing, 99 shot power and long shots. Then goes up to 84 jumping, 86 strength and 96 aggression. He can still play anywhere even with the hawk applied. You can see the team we're playing him in here and the formation we're going to be playing also is going to be the 4 one 2 and 2 narrow with him up front alongside Wissam Banieta and Joe Cole in behind. Let's get into a game and see how we get on with this new Gerson card. All right then guys, into the game. Wow, 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 wow. That's an interesting team. Um, team of the seasons apart from Messi, full league and team of the season. I'm excited to use this card though. It's a nice change to Neymar and Mbappe from the league and, <clears throat> and I think this card's got a lot of value. You know, he can play so many different positions and if you've got something like a Ben Yedder or, you know, like a Neymar, for example, you can link him to Neymar. Uh, Di Maria as well, of course. But yeah, there's lots of uh, good opportunities to use this card. Let's find out how he plays in game. Obviously, the no traits is a bit disappointing, but we'll make do. Right, here he is, first touch. Ooh. Oh. Go on in, Gerson. Oh, good elastico. Oh, 1-0 already. Gerson with the first goal. He felt really strange there. He felt like he didn't have like full control of the ball, but Zelastico was really, really strong. Yeah, one nil up already. Courtesy of Gerson. Really, really nice start there. Let's play Farna into Payat. Let's see if we can press him into the ground there, which we have. Joe Cole into Gerson. Back into Joe Cole. Nice. Take your time here now. Good pass. Good play. Really nice play. Elastico again. Gerson's in again. He's oh my god. That should have been two nil there. I did try and uh, green it, but it just didn't let me. Where does he sit here? There he is. It's time I reverse Lasico. He feels like he's got a lot of strength. Um, I think it's because of his body type. He feels relatively strong. Akimi, that's yours, pal. Nice. And there we go. Back into the into the mixer here. Joe Cole. Gerson again. Sprint boost by Gerson. It's good defending that. Now, you, what you're going to have as well with this card <clears throat> is if you do play him in an attacking sense... Which you don't have to, by the way. Because um, he definitely can play anyway. If you want to play him at centre-back, I probably wouldn't. That's the only place I wouldn't play him. Um, but full-back, absolutely. Um, and then anywhere else, definitely as well. Based on his stats. All right, here we go. Gerson again. He feels a bit heavy on the ball. But I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, oh, man. Oh, I've read it. I can't believe it. That's a good save from Lafont as well. Uh, if I green that, that's definitely going in, isn't it? So that's really poor for me in the end there. Oh dear, he's in with uh, Payet. No, he's at Militao's there. 
This is this guy's a bit of a weird one as well, isn't he? Bit of a weird player. There you go, Hakimi's all day. Nice. Right. Here we go. Another chance to attack here. I tried to cancel that. I didn't want that pass in the end. You can see his strength there though. Oh. Oh. Oh, why is he reading it? Why is it what the hell's going on? I would hundred percent did not read that. That's ridiculous. That was insane strength though, wasn't it? Really nice strength from him. What the hell's happened there? Who just hit the deck there? Oh, he feels really, really nice, actually. Shot cancel. Nice shot cancel. Sprint boost. Oh. Oh, he feels brilliant on the ball, though. How strange. Oh, my God. Oh, I tell you something, guys. I, f I think this is a brilliant, brilliant card. Oh, yes. Oh, it's 2-0. Gerson again. He's really annoying to play against, but by the looks of things, um, he feels uh, qu quite rigid the way you have to dribble with him, and quite lethargic. But when he gets a skill moves pump in, he feels insane. Oh, that's a ball roll, EA. That's a ball roll. If you guys didn't know, by the way, step overs are really OP right now, and they buffed them like really heavily. Going Gerson. Oh, ball roll scoop, shot cancel. Oh, he, he, I'll tell you something. This is a, what the hell is this card? He feels so strange, but so good. He, he feels really, really heavy. But it's not impacting the way I'm having to play with him at all. I say really heavy. He doesn't feel really heavy. He feels, you know, kind of mildly heavy. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeming to get on really well with him. He, he seems to hit his skill moves with so much power. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, <clears throat> but they're certainly really strong. I mean, that's a hat it's not a hat-trick, is it? It's a two, two goals and one assist for him. Yeah, what a brilliant, brilliant start, though. And hopefully this guy can stay so I can keep you with me. But if he doesn't, he doesn't, you know. Nice, right, good play. Di Maria, space. Let's see if we can whip this into him. I know he's not got the best uh, jump in. Okay, that was poor. Do not try and cross with him if you're into him. If you are going to use him in an attacking sense, because he's just not good at that. Joe Cole. <clears throat> That's poor. That's yours, D. Nice. Into Gerson. Gerson. Oh, there is something about this card that's broken. He feels way too good. Look at that. He's, he's really glitchy. That might be because he's got really good defending. For playing him in an, in an attacking role. That's making him like ridiculously good. But I like this card a lot, guys. Um, <clears throat> he's relatively cheap to do as well. If you've got Joe Cole in your shapeshifters pack, you can link him to him. Obviously, Joe Cole being English as well. Lots of great links there. Oh, this, this, this card is busted. This card is genuinely broken. He, he's glitchy because of his defending. That's the conclusion I've come to. Ah, poor from Zidane there. Or me, even. Nice. Right, let's try this. Oh, he's so annoying. Look at him. Great card, though. Absolutely brilliant card. Very, very, very impressed. And this isn't at a low elo, either, so... In champs, playoffs. Nice from Militao there. Into Joseph Cole. Nice. You can see his skill moves don't even look the best, but... Oh, my God. Oh my, oh, he's got to score that. He has to score that. Anyway, we're at halftime, guys. What I'm going to do now is bring you back some highlights. All right, guys. So the first dude decided to leave in the end um, at halftime, and it was 3 0 or 4-0. I can't remember what it was now. Um, yeah, considering he left, I'll bring you back for another 45 minutes of gameplay. This guy's got a really good team. This will be a good test for Gerson. But yeah, really impressed. He was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant in that first game. So let's see what he can provide in this one against... Uh, Bit of a heavier opposition. Here we go with Gerson. He does feel really fast. He, he just does feel really powerful. For lack of a better word. And he's really, really glitchy. I haven't tried to finesse with him, though. You haven't tried to finesse with him, though. Oh, if it wasn't Lev Yashin in goal there. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Lev Yashin's one of the smallest goalkeepers in the game. Miles offside, right? Oh, it's gone out anyway. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I have to say I'm impressed. And I, and I like how... Much utility this card has, you know. 
Right, there he is again. That's poor from me. That's me trying too much with him. I'm going to try and find that. Yes, he is. Oh, that over the top is disgusting. Is that new? That looks new to me. That's a short cancel in there as well. This guy's a good player. So Dan just being lethargic. Pretty standard stuff, really. Nice from Nkunku there. Good defending. We are into Cole. Yedda. Let's see what your over the tops are like. Oh, dear. <clears throat> I don't know if this guy's got a new over the top technique. But it looked really different when he tried it. Um, so maybe there's a new, new over the top method. Right, here's Nkunku driving into that space. He's got acres as well to run into. Sprint boost again. Oh, it's nice from Nkunku. Oh, Gerson. Oh, so unlucky. Hello? Oh, here's Di Maria. Gerson's there. Oh, that's nice. So, Carl, what a goal that is. Great play from Gerson. Great unselfish there from me. Or Gerson. I don't know how we're saying his name exactly. But really nice goal there. Another assist for the man. Whatever his name is. And yeah. Really controlled performance so far here. Oh, dear. And Kunku. What was that? Hey, sprint boost in. You're not doing that, pal. Not against me, I'm afraid. Let's get into Zizou. Win that, please, pal. Nice. Good stuff. Carl, lovely play here as well. Yeah, into that space. Ooh, I, I don't know why. I just thought, I just assumed Ben Yedda had five star skills there. Which he does not. Right, Cole. Oh, man, that spin at Zola. Get to that. Nice. This guy's a really annoying player. Keeping me on my toes constantly. Nice. Into Gerson again. Oh, it's a bad touch from him, though. We've got away with it. Giving the foul there as well. Nice. Okay. So... Really impressed so far. Um, doesn't really need the ball into him a lot to be effective. Oh, Gerson. Oh, my God. What a goal that is. Two Elasticos, 2-0 up. And, man, I've got to say, I would complete this SBC. An absolute no-brainer SBC for me. Um, really, really, really strong card, this one. Really strong card. And can play in so many positions that I just think it's an absolute no-brainer. Even if you're too you know, heavy up, up, up front... Drop him into your midfield's a good shout, or you know, even at fullback, if you want to bring Cancelo or Hakimi or uh, the captain's Marcelo or, or something like that into a more advancing role, putting this guy at fullback is a great option. He's offside. <clears throat> He's got a really nice pass on him as well, to be fair. So yeah, I, I have no complaints. I feel very much in control with the card. Basically, feels like it's going to sound ridiculous. Like a faster Zidane. He's got that same kind of body type. Very like heavy skill moves. Like powerful heavy skill moves. If that makes any sense at all. He has to score there surely. Oh my god he's missed it. <clears throat> but yeah guys very impressed. Now the only problem I would say we have with him. Is he's not good in the air. Minor issue really. Maybe not so much if you're playing him in your midfield. Um... Yeah, I must must admit, man, this card is brilliant. Really, really, really nice card. He's going to go for that over the top again, isn't he? No, he's not. He's got Pele through the middle. I don't know where my defence has gone. Nice from Adair there. Send that one long. Yeah, they win that. He has as well. Nice. On in Gerson. Into that space you go. Nice. So Dan and Gerson linking up. Oh, it's beautiful play, actually. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, what the hell? What was that? What was that when I was at home? What have I just seen? Have a look, Ref. That's a red card. <clears throat> I can't believe this. Does he have good free kicks? No, he doesn't because he's not there. Okay, we'll play it short then. Nkunku. Gerson. Sprint boost. Gone. Oh, he's offside. He was going to get around in there too. But yeah, I, I just think, you know, I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but I just think this card has too much value not to do. Go on, Rio. Oh, unlucky. Easy to defend this, I hope. He's got nothing on. Nice. He's got, it. got away with that somehow, though. Nice again. He almost got away with that as well. All right, Kunku into the space. Nice. It's not where I've aimed that. I've been fouled there as well. Oh, my God, this game. Oh, my God, this game. I'm lost for words. I'm actually lost for words, guys. How do people get away with stuff like that? Nice, good out ball there, though. Into Gerson, into Yedda. Back into Gerson. 
Good scoop turn there too. Take your time. No need to rush here. Nice, good play. Beautiful play, actually. No, oh, that's a Berber spin cancel. I can't believe it. Hit to Gerson again. Oh, Gerson, you got to stop it. Oh, that's unlucky. I do, I do genuinely think if you're going to play him anywhere, the Hawk is still a great option. Oh, I can't believe this game sometimes. Anyway, there, lads. Brilliant first half. And, uh, yeah, I've got to say, we, we do definitely have a player on our hands here. Very, very powerful, strong player. Yeah, I'll bring you back to some uh, highlights after half time if we get any. If not, that will be the end. There you go, guys. At half time. All right, then, guys. Two games on with Gerson. We've got three goals and two assists. I really like this card. He's quite unique in the fact that he's got a body type and the ability to not dribble so well. Even though his agility and balance is really high, his body type kind of lets him down there. You would say, but this card performs really well. The only way I can describe him is he feels very similar to Zidane in terms of body type, strength, and the way he performs his skill moves, but he's a lot faster. Um, he's got really good shooting, really powerful shooting. The Hawk is obviously helping that. He feels really, really strong, um, and I really like that about him. He's also really glitchy in the final third due to the fact he's got really high stand tackle. That if you do lose the ball with him, like when he's holding the ball tight to his uh, his uh, legs or body, I should say, um, what ends up happening is you'll end up tackling quite easily back and bringing the ball back, uh, which is really nice if you use him in an attacking role. I didn't really do any finesse shots with him. Didn't really get the opportunity. So I was driving into spaces with this guy and doing skill moves with him. He has very powerful skill moves, if that makes any sense, to where... Um, I just think it's a really unique card that has a lot of value in your teams. Brazilian um, from Ligue 1. If you've got Joe Cole, that's a perfect link there. And he can literally play anywhere. If you want to play him in centre mid, CDM, full back, um, even centre back, I personally wouldn't. But he can definitely play there. Um, I find this card to be very good. Definitely a util utilitarian um, is how I think you say that. Really nice skill moves, really powerful skill moves. Really good um, AI running as well. I found this card to be brilliant. I don't see any qualms with him other than his jumping. His jumping is a little bit poor. And if you do want to use him in the attacking role or midfield role there, you might have a little bit of trouble. But other than that, I'm going to rate this card a 9.5 out of 10. For value, I'm also going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I think it's a great card, really well priced, and you should go and get him done. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you don't miss a play review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.